Welcome to Reaction Zero. My name is Tyrell, and I'll be doing a short guide on how to find the alien cache in the dunes. This requires a purple tablet to deactivate the force field to the cache. Your life pod will spawn randomly in the safe shallows, but looking at the aurora, turn left until you see some strange looking clouds near the water. These clouds are hiding the enforcement platform. We'll be going just to the left of these clouds. On the compass, we'll be heading northwest, depending on your life pod spawn. The entrance to the cache will be located about 1700 meters away and 400 meters down. The entrance will be located inside the meteor crash site. I recommend using the Seamoth and at least Depth Module 2. The main creature you have to watch out for in this area is the Reaper Leviathan that has a patrol path just above and to the left of the entrance to the cache. Going this far, deep, and fast with the Seamoth in this area tends to create more rendering issues than normal on console. Take your time and don't rush to avoid clipping into walls and running your vehicle into objects taking damage. Inside the base of the large dead mushroom tree in the mushroom forest, you can find a cuttlefish egg which is required for the man's best friend trophy which I have a guide for on my Subnautica playlist. This is one of the better locations to get a cuttlefish egg since you don't need any depth modules or any special gear. The dunes will be located just past the mushroom forest. Once you hit the dunes, stay as low as possible to try to avoid detection by the reaper leviathan. This massive crater is where you'll find the meteor and the entrance to the cache lit up by the light. Inside the cache, we will find ion cubes and a data terminal. Integrating new PDA data. If you're new, enjoyed this content, or would like to see me do more of the Subnautica guides, please drop a like, comment any questions you'd like answered, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.